given f of x comma y comma z, determine the partial derivatives. We have the partial for f with respect to x, the partial of f with respect to y, and the partial of f with respect to z. To begin, we need to write the square root using the rational exponent of one half. This indicates f of x comma y comma z is equal to five times the quantity two x cubed minus four y to the fourth plus two z to the fifth raised to the power of positive one half. And now to find the partial derivatives, we'll be using the derivative formula shown here in the upper right hand corner where the derivative of u to the power of n with respect to x is equal to n times u to the power of n minus one times u prime. However, u prime is going to be a partial derivative based upon which partial we're determining. So again, we can think of the base of two x cubed minus four y to the fourth plus two z to the fifth as u. To determine the partial of f with respect to x, we consider y and z as constants and differentiate with respect to x. This indicates to find the partial of f with respect to x, because we're treating y and z as constants, we will treat minus four y to the fourth plus two z to the fifth as constants and differentiate with respect to x. The partial of f with respect to x is equal to five and then times the exponent of one half times the base of two x cubed minus four y to the fourth plus two z to the fifth to the power of one half minus one, which is negative one half, and then times u prime, where u prime is going to be the derivative of two x cubed minus four y to the fourth plus two z to the fifth with respect to x, treating y and z as constants, which gives us six x squared. The derivative of negative four y to the fourth plus two z to the fifth with respect to x is zero because we're treating y and z as constants. Simplifying, six times one half is equal to three. Let's first write the partial of f with respect to x as 15 x squared times the quantity two x cubed minus four y to the fourth plus two z to the fifth to the power of negative one half which we can also write as 15 x squared divided by the square root of the quantity two x cubed minus four y to the fourth plus two z to the fifth. Moving the base to the denominator, the exponent becomes positive one half, which is equivalent to the square root. And now to determine the partial of f with respect to y, we consider x and z as constants and differentiate with respect to y. So now to find the partial of f with respect to y, we treat two x cubed plus two z to the fifth as constants and differentiate with respect to y. The partial of f with respect to y is equal to five times one half times again the base of two x cubed minus four y to the fourth plus two z to the fifth to the power of one half minus one which is negative one half and then applying the chain rule we multiply by the derivative of the base with respect to y, treating x and z as constants, which gives us negative 16 y to the third. The derivative of two x cubed plus two z to the fifth with respect to y is zero because we're treating x and z as constants. Simplifying one half times negative 16 is negative eight. The partial of f with respect to y is negative 40 y cubed times the base of two x cubed minus four y to the fourth plus two z to the fifth to the power of negative one half, which again we can write as negative 40 y cubed divided by the square root of the quantity two x cubed minus four y to the fourth plus two z to the fifth. And finally to determine the partial of f with respect to z, we now consider x and y as constants and differentiate with respect to z. So for treating x and y as constants, we now treat two x cubed minus four y to the fourth as constants. The partial of f with respect to z is equal to five times one half, again times the base of two x cubed minus four y to the fourth plus two z to the fifth to the power of negative one half times the derivative of the base with respect to z, 
treating x and y as constants, which gives us times 10z to the fourth. The derivative of 2x cubed minus 4y to the fourth with respect to z is zero because we're treating x and y as constants. Once again, simplifying, 1 half times 10 is five. So the partial of f with respect to z is equal to 25z to the fourth times the base to the power of negative one half, which we can write as 25z to the fourth divided by the square root, once again, of two x cubed minus four y to the fourth plus two z to the fifth. I hope you found this helpful.